there are a few different variations of gaze stability exercises that I wanted to show you. In the last video, you learned how to perform two basic gaze stability exercises called no-nos and yes-yeses. Definitely watch that if you haven't already because it touches on some specifics that I won't be discussing in this video. Before we get started, remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out as we dive deeper into neurological rehab. General no-nos and yes-yeses are awesome exercises, but there are two variations to these therapies called pitch and yaw preferences that are sometimes more effective and specific than a general no-no or yes-yes. No-nos can also be performed in either anterior pitch with the head tilted forward or in posterior pitch with the head tilted backwards. Yes-yeses can also be performed in either right yaw with the head turned to the right or in left yaw with the head turned to the left. For no-nos in anterior pitch, tilt your head forward before slowly sweeping your head left and right, just like a general no-no. No-nos in posterior pitch is the same, except now your head is tilted backwards instead of forwards. For yes-yeses in right yaw, turn your head slightly to the right before slowly moving your head straight up and down like a general yes-yes. For yes-yeses in left yaw, turn your head slightly to the left and perform the same slow up and down motion. Remember that each rep should take about 10 seconds. And don't forget to close your eyes between reps and breathe in through the nose for four seconds and out through the mouth for eight seconds. Perform up to nine repetitions per session using the star dot pattern. I'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can print it out. Repeat three to four times per day and make sure you watch out for your fatigue signs. These are all of the main variations of gaze stability exercises. You're probably best off speaking with a practitioner to figure out which variation is best for you, but it's okay to play around with each variation as long as you stop and seek help if your symptoms worsen. It can be a bit challenging to get these movements right. If you're not sure if you're doing it correctly, you can try recording yourself or watching yourself in a mirror, or just ask your practitioner for guidance if you have one. If you have questions or you need help finding a practitioner, make sure to leave a comment below or reach out to me at virtualbrainrehab.com and I'll see if I can assist you. This is Dr. P and I'll see you in the next video.